January 14th of the 19th century, 1814, Treaty of Kiel. In the Treaty of Kiel, signed on January 14th, 1814, Frederick VI of Denmark cedes the Kingdom of Norway to Charles XIII of Sweden. This treaty marked the end of the Napoleonic Wars and the transfer of Norway from Danish to Swedish control. As part of the agreement, Denmark received the territories of Pomerania in return. 1858, Napoleon III of France narrowly escapes an assassination attempt made by Felice Orsini and his accomplices in Paris. On January 14, 1858, as Napoleon III and Empress Eugenie were on the way to the Paris Opera House, Orsini and his co-conspirators threw three bombs at the carriage. The bombs exploded, causing casualties among the bystanders. But miraculously, the imperial couple emerged largely unscathed. This event highlighted the growing political unrest and revolutionary sentiment in France during this period. 1873. On January 14, 1873, John Hyatt's groundbreaking invention of celluloid in 1869 was officially registered as a trademark, signifying the dawn of a new era in the plastics industry and laying the foundation for the development of numerous revolutionary products that would shape various aspects of modern life. 1878. On January 14, 1878, Alexander Graham Bell, the renowned inventor, showcased his groundbreaking invention, the telephone, to none other than Britain's esteemed monarch, Queen Victoria, in a momentous demonstration that marked the significant turning point in the history of communication technology, forever altering the way people connect and communicate across vast distances and paving the way for the rapid advancement of telecommunications that would shape the modern world as we know it today. 1882. On January 14, 1882, the Mitopia Hunt Club, nestled in the picturesque town of Winchester, Massachusetts, achieved a remarkable distinction by becoming the inaugural country club esteemed in the United States, setting a precedent for a new era of exclusive social and recreational institutions that would flourish across the nation. As the first of its kind, the Mitopia Hunt Club not only provided an elegant and refined setting for outdoor activities like horseback riding and fox hunting, but also fostered a sense of camaraderie among its members, creating a blueprint for the quintessential American Country Club experience that would shape the landscape of leisure, sport, and elite social gatherings for generations to come. 1887. On January 14, 1887, the Reichstag was dissolved following the rejection of a government proposal by Otto von Bismarck to increase the army by approximately 10% and extend the Army Act for an additional seven years. 1892. On January 14, 1892, the untimely passing of Prince Albert Victor, Duke of Clarence and Avondale, sent shockwaves through the British monarchy and society as a whole. As the eldest son of the future King Edward VII and Queen Alexandria, Prince Albert Victor's premature death at the young age of 28 marked a tragic end to a life filled with potential and promise. Known for his charm and popularity, his sudden demise sparked widespread grief and speculation, leaving behind a void in the hearts of the British people and altering the course of royal succession, ultimately shaping the future of the monarchy and its subsequent generations. 1897. On January 14th, the Royal Photographic Society in London showcased the first film ever shown in Britain. The one-minute silent film titled Rough Sea at Dover was directed by Bert Akers and depicted the waves and stormy sea off the coast of Dover. This significant event marked the introduction of motion pictures to the British audience and contributed to the development of the film industry in the country. 1897. Swiss mountaineer Matthias Zerbergen achieved a remarkable feat on January 14, 1897, 
by becoming the first person to successfully climb the Aconcagua, standing on a height of 6,961 meters, 22,838 feet. Aconcagua is the highest peak in the Argentine Andes and is the highest mountain in the Americas. Zurbriggen's ascent of this formidable mountain marked a significant milestone in mountaineering history and furthered exploration of the South American continent. 1899. On January 14, 1899, the RMS Oceanic was launched, becoming the largest ship afloat at the time. Designed by Thomas Ismay, the Oceanic was the first of a new class of luxury ocean liners. It surpassed the size of Bunnell's SS Great Eastern, which had held the title for the largest ship for nearly 40 years. The launch of the Oceanic represented a significant advancement in maritime technology and set the stage for the era of grand ocean liners that would follow in the early 20th century.